Today, the Prechter Bipolar Research Fund is hosting the ninth annual Prechter Lecture at the University of Michigan on campus in uh, Ann Arbor. We're lucky to have the keynote speaker with us, Dr. Leroy Hood, and uh, also Dr. Melvin G. McInnes, Principal Investigator and Scientific Director of the Heinz C. Prechter Bipolar Research Fund. Dr. Uh, Dr. Hood, good morning, and Dr. McInnes, good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. This is a very important uh, meeting, if you will, uh, as we still try to figure out depression. Most of us can't possibly understand it completely, and the biggest way that we knew we didn't understand it completely was when Heinz Prechter took his own life, catching so many people totally by surprise. Oh, indeed. We just had no idea the demons he was fighting. And now we have to realize that there are lots of people, many among us, who suffer from depression, debilitating depression. For for Heinz, I remember introducing he and Wally at an event where Heinz was getting an award, and they said to me, well, Heinz is going to let Wally talk today uh, and get some of the credit. And I thought, well, okay, that's very kind of him to do. But he stood there and couldn't engage mm-hmm. because of his depression. Mm-hmm. Tell us that we've made some tremendous progress since the Prechter family uh, supported this and uh, created, if you will, the Heinz C. Prechter Bipolar Research Fund. Tell us, Dr. McGinnis. Well, yeah, thank you very much, Paul, and thank you for having us on. So, firstly, we've been uh, making a, a tremendous amount of progress. We've been uh, working with uh, stem cells, with uh, nerve cells that are derived from cells from individuals with bipolar disorder to develop models to test new medications. We've been using uh, technology to identify ways that we can predict when an individual is heading for an episode, and we've been exploring a number of other venues that have been in the media uh, now just looking at nutrition and um, and what's called the microbiome. And this is all really because of the support of the Prechter family and the people that have supported us uh, over the years here at the University of Michigan. So and, thanks to everyone. And Dr. Dr. Hood, uh, this is an unprecedented time, a maybe medicine at a turning point or tipping point with bipolar disease and scientific wellness. You, you have it all kind of working together. Uh, I think the, the really important point is that as we realize that health is not just about disease, but it's about wellness, this bring to, brings to us fundamental new insights into how we can attack really difficult diseases like bipolar disease, and that's really what I'm here to talk about today. Is the bipolar uh, disease that is more prevalent maybe than we know? Well, I think the typical estimates are 1% to 2% in the population, and there well could be many more that are uh, susceptible to it. So it's it's a disease that uh, has to be taken very seriously. What are some of the signs, gentlemen, of of somebody not just having a down day or being a little blue, as a lot of people are, and there are seasonal blues and there's... uh, the sad and the lack of light, yeah. and you know, there's so many other things out there. When do we know that we or someone we love has crossed over into this territory? I think the main thing is to look for a sustained and qualitative change in the individual's patterns of interactions with them, with their family members and with the people around them. And so if you notice somebody, as you pointed out, when Heinz was just character, you know, out of character, um, slowed down and not engaging, Publicly, there was something different about him, and that was on, had been ongoing for a period of time, and Mrs. Prechter noticed that, and so there was an agreement that they would, that Wally would talk that evening, for and, example. And these kinds of uh, problems can sometimes run in families. Oh, indeed, they can run in families, and, uh, and there's, a, just, there's a greater risk if one has a family member with bipolar disorder or depression, and so one needs to be aware that in other members of the family, just to be aware that this risk is there and one should watch for it and get help. Dr. Leroy, Dr. Leroy Hood, the president and co-founder of Institute for Systems Biology, as I mentioned earlier, is the keynote speaker. And uh, you are absolutely thought of as a visionary. You've energized the field throughout your career. And you developed the technology behind the Human Genome Project. And, uh, and I've heard so many things that have come from the Human Genome Project in in battling so many illnesses, including cancer, most recently, uh, I think that's right. I think the uh, one of the biggest revolutions in the uh, 
uh, 21st century has been the completion of the Human Genome Project. Uh, initially, it was a lot of promise. Now we're beginning to see the reality of how medicine is going to be transformed by using our, our knowledge of the genome and be the tools that came from developing uh, and mapping the genome. Well, in fact, and it can be done much because of your research and others that you led, uh, it can be done much faster than it used to be able to be done, too. That's right. And I think the really important point is the uh, first genome was estimated to cost, human genome was estimated to cost 100 uh, well, I would say a billion dollars, perhaps. Uh, today's genomes can be done for a thousand dollars. So that's an incredible number of orders of magnitude decline in the cost. My prediction is in a five to eight year period, will be at the hundred dollar genome. It means it's a, it'll be a, uh, the equivalent of a random medical test. Isn't that amazing? Astonishing. And the astonishing medicine happening there at University of Michigan Medical Center. And very specifically, uh, Dr. McGinnis, at your Heinz C. Prechter Bipolar Research uh, Fund. And uh, thanks to uh, Wally Prechter, the whole Prechter family that have established this, uh, this whole uh, uh, database uh, and uh, the focus on the person and all the moves you've made there. You, you really have visionaries in the research field there at U of M, Dr. McGinnis. Thank you very much, Paul. It's really an incredible job well done in an area that needed the help. And uh, today, folks will be getting together for this event that is happening there at the University of Michigan. Uh, Dr. Hood will speak from 2 till 3 p.m. The whole uh, event is at the uh, Palmer Commons Auditorium Forum Hall on Washtenaw Avenue starting at 1 o'clock. Uh, in Ann Arbor. Thank you, doctors. We appreciate it. Uh, Dr. Leroy Hood and Dr. Melvin G. McGinnis as we continue on the Paul W. Smith Show at WJR.